So, finally got around doing a tutorial how to install the tool deformation. Uh, I'm assuming you already have the stable diffusion local installation with the automatic 1111. Um, so the first wing, first thing we're going to do is to install the forum extensions and just test so it works. Uh, let me just found my clean installation. Start with web user but There we go, we update this one and then to install it you go to extensions, uh, available and you load list and you just search the forum, press install, wait a couple of seconds. See, now it says installed, uh, use install tab to restart, and then we go to install, and we press apply and restart user interface. Uh, now we got a new choice here, which is the, the forum extension. Uh, we're just gonna test that uh, so it works. So not much tinkering now. Just press generate to see that it does generate some frames. And it's really slow now since I'm recording at the same time. And we can see that it works and it's using the standard or the default prompt, the tiny cute swamp bunny. Uh, do, do, do. Now we see it, that it works, we just interrupt this one, and now we can close Stable Diffusion. Uh, so, now we go to, here we go, there, that's all done, cloning the git, yeah, uh, then we go to our git. And as you see here on installation this is the text string and the code you need to paste to clone the git and uh, to do that you choose a suitable uh, folder to place it in i always place it outside of my stable diffusion installation so i'm gonna place it uh, under here just press this uh, address bar and write cmd then you get this command window and inside here you copy this um, yeah you copy this code from the git and just paste it press enter wait a couple of seconds it shouldn't take too long there we go now we can close this one uh, and check so we have everything uh, and then we can go ahead and let's see here installing requirements replacing the files I'm actually gonna replace the files first because there are uh, inside the forum helpers there are three files animation dot pi the forum underscore mediator pi and render pi and those need uh, those files needs to be put in the the forum helpers folder inside the forum and the easiest way is to go to the base folder of deformation uh, copy this the forum for automatic uh, 1111 web ui and then we uh, enter the extensions folders of our stable diffusion 
web UI installation. Uh, just paste it here. So you already have the um, you already have the folder because uh, that's where the installation of the forum contains. Oh, sorry. Before we do that, I'm actually gonna uh, make a copy of these of those files. Uh, I just copy paste and rename this one to back. In case it doesn't work, it's quite easy to get it working again. Uh, and then we have the, the, rin, the render file. We do a backup copy of that too. Yeah, and then we go, now we must go back and copy the folder inside the formation. And then we go back to our stable diffusion installation and enter extensions folder and paste. And it says uh, this destination has two files with the same names. And those files we already make backups of, so we just replace it. So that's that. Uh, I'm just going to move this window. So now we're going to install the requirements. And there are two ways to install the requirements. Either you use this bat file, run me first installation requirements. You just double click it and it should work. Uh, but I'm gonna show the uh, I'm gonna show the other way, and then you go down here on installation on the Git, and you copy this command to install the um, yeah install the requirements that's uh, inside the requirements.txt. Uh, and we need the, we need to do this inside the the formation folder where the requirements file contains. So same as before, enter the uh, address bar, uh, write cmd, and just paste this, and you press enter. Uh, as I done this like a million times already, I already have the requirements. So uh, when this is done, close this one. Uh, let's see here. We've done this, this, uh, and then we can do a short test run of the forum. Uh, and here we have also two ways of doing this. The easiest way is to double click the deformation underscore start dot but. This starts the uh, mediator and the deformation.py uh, but I'm gonna show the other way also so we go down here to our git and we copy this uh, we copy the mediator.py and again we go inside the address bar press cmd then we have a command window, we paste, and now the mediator is running. Do not close this one. The mediator uh, acts like, the, like a gateway between uh, uh, the formation and the forum. So just to minimize this. And uh, now we're ready to run the deformation.py. And same as before. Uh, inside the folder, press CMD, uh, paste, and enter. And there it is. Uh, I'm just gonna show you the other way. Uh, it's nothing special, it's just pressing the uh, 
deformation underscore start but so as you can see it actually opens opens three windows this one is the mediator this one is the deformation and this is the user interface uh, so we can go ahead and minimize this for now now we're gonna start the uh, stable diffusion automatic 11 11 this one try to have it nice and tidy uh, and then as always we go to localhost and then we go over to the forum um, so now when I when I press it should use the uh, the positive prompt and the negative prompt. Uh, just, just let me find some usable prompts here. Here we go. We have a negative prompt, and we have a positive prompt. Let's close that one. Uh, stay on top. No, we don't need to stay on top. Just checking some settings here. I prefer to change this one directly. 0 0.2 on panning. 0. Point, no, sorry. 0 0.4 on panning. 0 0.2 on rotation. And on yeah, it is rotation. This is angle. I set this to 0 0.1 uh, steps it doesn't matter because we can change that so and we press save prompt and my, this window is quite crowded so I'm just moving it over here uh, and one important thing is that you need to enter the keyframe and go to animation mode and choose 3D. Uh, and I guess when you press generate now, if this is the first time you run it, it's gonna download some uh, model files. It does take a while. Uh, hopefully mine won't do that now. So I'm minimizing this so you can see my command window for stable diffusion as well. So this positive and negative prompt should appear when I press generate. Uh, and yeah, it does. It says wide angle environment shot of a clutter and messy shack, action shoot, tattered torn shirt, proclaimed cracked skin, liege of liege of legends. So um, this is a working installation of the forum, and uh, it's actually the latest. Uh, no, sorry, this is the working installation of the formation and I'm using the latest version of the forum. So you can see here, if I start to tinker with the settings, like the FOV, I'm just gonna zoom in here. And increase the strength value. Now you see it's it's zooming. So both the uh, positive and the negative prompt, and my zoom control is working. Let's just pan the picture. And then when 
panning the picture to left you're panning the camera so the picture is moving to the right and if you're panning to the right you're moving the camera to the right and the picture is moving to the left That's the installation procedure. So we've been helping a lot of people to get it to work and um, we're not afraid to help any more people, but hopefully this will uh, convince people to install it and try it and make some awesome animations. Thank you. Bye bye.